Let's see what they're looking at. How much time is left? I think every four hours you'll get a new bronze crate. Hey guys, just let me know if you like this content or not. I mean, it's something I'm passionate about and I like. I mean, it's another gaming platform. I still got an hour and 45. Now I could buy a crate. Not a problem. Um, but I really like to save these because sometimes save with parts. Let's just say, well, let's not use parts. Let's just say I had a Bugatti, right? I don't have one yet. It's going to be one to buy in Legends. But, um, oh man, I got so much to share with you too with Legends as well. I'm probably going to do a separate tutorial on that just to let you guys know. It won't be as long. I won't be doing live play. But um, some of you guys check out. But this is live because I have a Bugatti. But um, when you get to the point where you can do like uh, Elite Showdown and, or, or, or Legendary Parts or something. And let's just say, because when I won that Rabbit, Nissan Rabbit, right? I, you can spend 400, 5, 700 uh, bronze tokens. And you can get all, you know, Nissan or Rocket Bunny, Nissan, you know, fairly Rocket Bunny, Nissan uh, um, parts. So this is how you really upgrade your, your car. Instead of like hitting normal crates where you have, you're going to get whatever. You have no idea what you're going to get. And, you know, it just takes forever to build up your, to build up your, to get your car put together the way you want it. But when you do something like with parts right now, I can go to Legends and spend 700, uh, 700 keys and I'll get nothing but Legend parts. But I don't really want that. I don't like Lamborghini parts. Uh, per se. Because that's my... When I get to Legend, you guys will see. So I'll, I'll do this tutorial. Hopefully you watched everything. Uh, see? Look at I even have... Now, because the token cup, you only, you only get a, you know, a little over a day to claim this. So I'm going to click on that to claim that. I do have 10 free gas. Which, let me see what else I can do to race to use this up normally now when you start getting into tempest um it takes two gas like two gas pips versus everything else has been one gas pip um, that takes you know so kj's challenge and i'll also teach you guys how to win every single boss car so if you want to win every single boss car I'll, I'll teach you how to do that to where you can win every every boss car i'll show you the cars that i want to win. front uh, here's the two cars I'm working on right now and uh, yeah that's that I and, it, and also you you have to watch my legends tutorial when I make it because this will help you not get stuck in your tutorial okay you won't get stuck you'll be able to breeze through it but you have to follow exactly what I say because if not you're you'll screw it up not saying you will intentionally, but you'll just make it harder on yourself. So if you if you notice, you know, let's go back to the lobby. If you notice here, I have not started Legends Never Die. I gotta lock in like five different cars. I haven't started it. There's a reason why. The reason why is because you need to fully restore your Lamborghini before you do so. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of what you have to do. But I'll get to that in another video. Make sure you check it, watch it out. Check it out and watch it. Let's go back. Alrighty. Um, we have a uh, garage. So, here's the cars that I've won. And also, I cars that I've won, well, nothing here. But if you notice, see how this is light blue? Like, that's a light blue. Let me show you something. So this is the car you first start off with, right? This is my very first car I bought right here. If you look at the rankings on it, crew bonus, legendary bonus, freshness, right? But you have collection, elite, wild car, rare car, rare car bonus. Um, let's go back. Now the exact same car. Oops. I messed that up. I wasn't trying to click on it twice. I was trying to just click on it. I did it again. Let's go back to my garage. 
there's like so many things I want to like share and talk about because there's so many different intricacies here. But look at this is 43% and this one's at 40%. Now look at this one, 38%. Here's why. Now if you normally have this Golf GTI, you're gonna you're not gonna be at 38. You'll be at 28. And the reason why that is is because I have the Elite bonus, which means I took this car into the Tier 1 Elite. I qualified the Elite bonus, and it gives you a 10%. Well, once I realized this, um, well, first of all, this is one of the fastest cars in a game that you can actually buy. It's like number three. So I'm like, hey, I want to bring the, I, without knowing anything, I want to bring, like, the fastest car that I can possibly get to to the race for the elite so I can win the boss car. That was a mindset. But then after I got into it, I realized what I really should have did is I should have brought this this car. Or if I had a purple one-star car, I would have brought that. As long as the car was fast enough to go ahead and, and, and beat the minimum time. Which I think like any t tier one car, any one of these tier cars will beat in order to qualify for the elite. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, later on I'll get more depth into that on different videos. Um, but if you notice, so I did this. Now, this car right here, one of my fastest, my, my, my favorite T2 cars is this one. Uh, but this bonus is at 56%. Of course, as you continue to upgrade the car, uh, you get more stars. So I have this at level 30, you know, the SL300 to the right level 10 db5 level 10 the very first mustang right here level two um, i don't really see a need to to max this car out because i already have this one they're both the same so but it's not hurt me to have the car so i just leave it the way it is let's see um this is also one of the fastest cars in the in uh, the tier two besides the porsche the porsche i think is the fastest tier two car uh, the Boxster uh, 710 or 711, I don't know, something like that. Or 910 or whatever. I have the car, I just I don't have it upgraded or nothing. But this is the A110. It's a, it's a rare car. Um, and the reason why I actually upgraded it, uh, for one, I, I won the car in, in, a, in a crate, uh, a bronze crate. But for two, you know, you can't buy cars and strip them or anything like that. If you don't know what that means, I'll, I'll talk about that in another tutorial. But, um, but this car right here is definitely... Well, this car is just something that I'm not going to get rid of. And it's going to take forever to kind of max out. So I just let it go. And the reason why you notice I have like stage 6 that I can upgrade to and that I... I have, uh, I, can, I can fuse the car. The reason why is daily, you have daily battles. Or daily battles. Jeez, well, I'm all over the damn place, guys. You have your daily goals. Sometimes over here, they'll they'll have it to where it says, you know, fuse six parts or upgrade three parts. And the reason why I leave these blanks is that, I, I mean, sure, I can go ahead and, you know, fully stage five all of my vehicles easily like every vehicle that i own right now i can stage five of them all and have plenty of cash left over to to do whatever I want. um but i do that so i don't really need to add fusion parts to this there's no need to um and it just gives you something to do but not necessarily needed like especially if you benefit from it later on when the game says hey fuse some parts and you know you'll get 30, 30, 30, uh, 30 gold, or you'll get, uh, you know, 30 bronze keys or something like that, or, you know, $20,000. So I just let it sit there because it's not hurting. Um, okay, back to originally, like I was saying. Oh, in this car, of course, once I realized that when you get into the Elite, you have your Stage 1, uh, your Tier 1, that then all of my highest tiered vehicles or my highest like rarest vehicles i started to um bring to the elite because i gave that bonus so if i go to t2 or tier two nine times out of ten i'm gonna i'm gonna be driving this uh, you know the ferrari the 250 gto just because i get such a huge um 56 uh, rp bonus 
Um, if I go into tier three, one of my faves right here, this one is almost 56 as well. You know, that Corvette's 50, uh, 56%. And it's gonna continue to go up as I start to upgrade it, but I'm waiting to upgrade my, um, my Lamborghini Countach for Legends, because I don't wanna get stuck and I may need like extra fusion slots open, so I'm just kind of slow on that right now. Uh, I won this car, Amelia's LBM4 Coupe. I won that car. Um, I haven't touched it, there's no need to. It's a fast car, but not as fast as, as this. This may be one of the fastest cars in the game now, even though records and times and stuff like that will say otherwise. I've raced somebody in this car, and it ran a 7.7. And it really could have ran a 7.3. I screenshotted it because I was like, holy smokes, lost 200 grand. You know, like, the hunter got hunted. <laughs> or the farmer got farmed. Or however you look at it. But, I, you know, and I was in the lobby that was, like, slow. I was in the lobby that, like, I'm in now inside this Corvette. And I completely, this guy just, like, blew my, blew my doors off. And uh, I was like, holy smokes, I didn't realize this car can go this fast, but that's that's very close to the first place car. And I think if I had the car, if I had this car like maxed out or fully tuned to where I could, you know, put up some numbers or I could mess around with this Corvette, I think I could become, I think this car would be the fastest T3 uh, in CSR2 right now. So I have high hopes for this car. Unless they end up nerfing it or something like that, I don't know, hopefully they don't. But I really like the car, the way it sits, it's my favorite right now. And maybe for a long time because, um, you know, you, you guys get the car you'll see. But, or if you follow me, I can I can help you, like tips and tricks and stuff on, on what to do with this car and how to, how to set it up. Uh, so I won this Amelia's car, I won that. Uh, this rocket bunny i won this by um you know by completing like a, a challenge whatever i don't know 50 races or i don't know i had to bring another car to the table i think it might have been a t5 race and you can win this it was during easter i won this i won this car but this is at 58 percent the reason why my highest first of all it's a purple star car which means you're not going to get any higher when it comes to like rare cars um, and it has all these extra bonuses. Uh, but if you notice, there's one, two, three, four, there's five slots here. Now, if you look back at one of these cars, we have like a whole bunch more than five slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven slots. So you have the legendary bonus, which is there. Plus you have the, uh, the collection bonus, which I think the collection bonus you'll get once you, you know, have and restored all of the legendary cars. Um, so yeah, so let's see what other cars we have. Another really fast car in this game is this T4. Now, mind you, the Fair Lady is ranked like third fastest in the game. So I'm confident that if I have this Fair Lady fully maxed out, fully stage six, um, I would be confident to race any T4 fully maxed out. I, I'd, I'd race any T4 for 200 grand. Because uh, really what it boils down to is it's going to be driver error. You know, the car is going to do its thing, but are you? Are you consistent? Is you, are you going to hit the, the shifts perfect? Are you going to launch perfect? Are you going to, you know, you're going to get your shift time? You know, I really try to, try to focus with... Um, no faster than a point three three uh, a, a point zero three three shift uh, launch time. Um, you know, point zero seventeen is you know quicker than you can blink an eye, and I'm happy with those. Uh, but again, it all that's if it's full. This car is 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 uh, live tuned, live race tuned. Um, so uh, you know, it's. I'm not like trying to hit my launches and my shifts like completely perfect all the time, you know. Uh, one of my favorite live cars um, is my Aventor. Um, just an awesome, 
I I won this because I did five hundred thousand. Uh, I did five hundred thousand uh, RP in one month. Actually, I did like almost eight hundred thousand. But and this is not any like without uh, activating any any wild cards or nothing like that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, I won Shaq's Shaq's car right here. Agira, I think you yeah. Agra? I don't know. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I, I won Shaq's car. I won Victor's car. This is a slow car. I mean, it, it's it's good for points, but the shifts on it are crazy. Um, and it's just the, probably one of the slowest T5 cars there are, honestly. Even though it's a five-star, it's a slow car. This car, not much better, honestly. Um, the fastest T5 that I have right now is this. And I, I have my cars um, in order. So how they're currently set up my fastest car. So this Golf GTI is um, is not faster than my Mustang, but it can be. I just choose not to fuse it anymore. But I just put it up here just just because. Um, my fastest T2 is this GTO, is the, uh, the Ferrari GTO. Not far behind are these T2s right here. I uh, like the 300 SL coupe. Um, my fastest T3 is, is, is uh, the Corvette. Um, now a great car to start with is the uh, the M4 Coupe. This car would take you so far. You can buy other cars and strip them and things like that to get more get more fusion parts. Um, uh, let's see. Fastest T4 is this Rocket Bunny. Um, fastest T5 is my Aventor. And the reason why it is my fastest is because I have it. You know, I have it... Uh, I, have, I don't have any stage six for it. I think maybe, maybe one stage six, but I don't have any, uh, you know, it's like almost completely fused and it, and uh, I have one stage six. So that's why it's faster than this LB Huracan Coupe. But this LB uh, Huracan is, it would definitely, it is faster than this uh, Aventor. Um, but I'm gonna slow roll on upgrading this car. Like if you notice, it's 702. Now the reason why I even started to upgrade this car is because I wanted to get the elite bonus. If you notice here, it's 58%. I have the elite bonus. And after I won this car, I said, okay, well this car, after doing some research, is faster than my Aventor Coupe. And it's a five star purple car, which gives you extra RP. So I'm going to get it to where I just barely, you know, win my elite, uh, my tier 5 elite uh, license, which you guys are not there yet, but if you're not there yet, you know what I'm, you'll see what I'm talking about as you move on through the game. And no need to rush, I just want to make a point, no need to rush through, through your crew career. You know, no need to rush through all the shack stuff and things like that. I wish I'd have taken my time. I would have won every single boss car. And I did. I was just rushing through it, just trying to win the race. Um, get to, when you get to the, to the elite cars, or you, you know, you get the boss cars, you get one chance to race, and that's it. So, um, okay. Uh, so the LB Huracan Coupe um, is a fast car, and I I like it. Uh, I say um a lot because I'm trying to like think what I'm gonna say next because there's like so much different stuff going on, and I didn't really think about how I was gonna like you know talk to you guys. Shax, uh, Agira. I, I've never even raced it. I won it and never even dynoed it, never tested it, nothing. But I do know that this is why I brought this to, to the elite race to get the 10%, uh, because I do know that this is my fastest T5 car. The LV Huracan is my fastest, uh, not yet, but it is my fastest. And so I wanted to get the get the points on that one. I didn't want to throw it to a car like you know Shaq's or Victor's car, and it be it be. Um, you know, it'd be uh, like subpar after you like spend all that time, money, you know, like game money and, or real money, depending on what you want to do, or gold, like, you know, getting it to where you want. 
and it still is not really super competitive. Even this LB Huracan, it's not really, in the grand scheme of things, it's not competitive with the fastest cars out there for T5. But I don't really care about that because I always live tune my cars anyways. So it doesn't freaking matter. But I do know with live tuned cars, you need to have them fully stage five and upgrade as much as possible so you can manipulate the tuning. <clears throat> okay, moving forward. Um, and then all these cars after my T5 are just cars that are just, you know, kind of, um, these are just cars that I have, like, are, I don't really see a whole lot. Uh, I've been not built up at all. Not to tell you right now, the fastest car in the game is the, for the T2, is uh, the 718 Boxster S. That is the fastest car in the game. Second fastest, I believe, or third fastest, uh, you know, is that 8101. But it's really hard to, to build up, or the, a, yeah, the A110, really hard to build up because you don't have, you know, it's just luck of the draw of getting fusion parts and stage six parts and things like that. Uh, the Z, uh, the Z4M40, you know what, guys, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm going to burn through this or whatever, but I'm probably going to make shorter videos for each subject just so somebody doesn't have to sit here for 30 minutes listening to me, like, talk about a hundred different things. Um, but I will, I will redo this for you. But I'm going to post this one for you guys. If somebody wants to sit through and take notes, go ahead. I mean, I put so much time into this game, uh, learning the ins and outs, and I just want to be really good at whatever I do, especially with games. Um, besides this, you know, I also, I like to... Like Call of Duty, stuff like that. Uh, Black Ops, Black Ops 4. I love Black Ops, about all that I play. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I won this car too. Um, Angel Civic, Angel Civic. I won this car. Now this car is like top five fastest T T1 cars. But believe it or not, now believe it or not, that uh, this Golf GTI. Volkswagen is faster uh, than uh, than the uh, Angel Civic uh, 1.5 VTEC, so it it is it is faster. And um, but if it comes to racing a car, I'm gonna definitely take this car. I'm gonna build it up because it's easy to get Honda parts. You can buy a ton of T1 uh, Tier One um, Honda Civics, and you can strip them. And just get fusion parts out out your wazoo uh and there's a you know the technique for that the strategy for that but yeah this car you know is already at 42 percent and that's literally without doing anything to it if i want it and then you know threw it in the back here because uh I'm not using it but um yeah so that's that's pretty much it as far as that goes uh probably gonna stop the video and i'm gonna start another one for some more some more racing or or whatever and hey if you guys uh definitely um you know subscribe comment share any of the content uh you know use it as a go-to um i think that will be uh that'd be great to help me out i really appreciate it and i hope you guys got some value out of this if there's any questions, just hit me up. I'll try to get to them uh, as, as quick and as best as possible uh, to answer answer your question. But I may redirect you to a video. Hey, check out this vid because I talked about it here. Because I know that, you know, it could get a little daunting. Like, you know, you have 100 people asking 100 different questions. Uh, it could definitely take some time. So, but, uh, but I do read all the comments. Uh, it's just a matter of time when I get to them. You know, the different my busy little schedule <laughs> so okay guys listen um all right i'm gonna finish up some some racing on here so i'm gonna cut this one off start a new one do some racing and i'll see you guys in the next one